guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. Today I have my monthly what I wore for the month of January 2024. I gotta tell you though, this video almost did not happen because last night, Thursday night, which is my filming day, I always film Thursdays and then I edit and upload Fridays for like the following week or like Saturday and then the Tuesday. And all of a sudden at like exactly 8 p.m., all of our lights in half of the apartment, so half of the lights in our apartment just went out and the outlets weren't working. And I was like, ah, uh, okay. And naturally it was the half of the apartment that has my computer, Rob's computer, the TV, and like one of our bathrooms. And so I was like, what do we do? Cause you know, it's not like technically an emergency. So I can't call emergency maintenance. So I was like, I'm gonna call my dad. <laughs> <laughs> because my dad, he he just retired recently, but he worked in power. He was he was a lineman. He worked on the power lines and has done various jobs surrounding that. So I was like, if anyone knows what's going to be going on, it'll be him. So I called him and he was like, "Well, I'm not there, so I can't diagnose it." And I'm like, "I kind of figured that, but I just for like safety purposes, whenever anything electrical happens, I call my dad to be like, what should I do? And usually he's like, unplug everything. And I'm like, okay, dad, I will. But the maintenance guy came today, fixed it within like five minutes. I love the maintenance guy from my apartment, by the way. He's like the nicest guy. He always calls me darling. He's like, hey, darling, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm doing so good. Thank you for asking. Um, He wears one earring and he always smells like cigarettes. And I don't know why, but that's just comforting to me. I'm like, you, he reminds me of home. <laughs> It's you of where I'm from. It's just, I'm from a very blue collar area. So I just, I'm like, yeah, I love him. But yeah, shout out to my maintenance guy who fixed it in like two minutes. So now I can film. So all that to say, you will have a Saturday and a Tuesday video. How wonderful. So like I said, today is my monthly what I wore and we're going into January. And guess what? I wore two toppers actually technically i think we could call it three we'll see what you guys think of the third one because i didn't wear it over anything so does that really count as wearing a topper i don't know but when we get to it i will ask you guys so right at the beginning of january i wore polishes good for you and this was on january 3rd this i was like i want to wear stuff that i think is gonna look cute with my ring because i like just gotten engaged and I was just like, I didn't want to wear like, as much as I love ugly polishes, I didn't want to wear a bunch of ugly polishes right away. I wanted to wear like really pretty stuff that if somebody asked me like, oh, let me see your ring, I could be like, here it is. And then like have a nice polish on as well. Um, literally nobody has asked me so far. So <laughs> it, I'm like, I'm literally, it's February 2nd when I'm filming this and like nobody really notices. So I don't know, but I wore this one. It is a really cute pinky purple. And it has a lot, a lot of shimmer running through it. This was from Polish Pickup in December. And it's kind of rare that I get a polish from Polish Pickup and like immediately turn around and put it on. But I was like, I pulled it out of the package and it was just calling to me. It's like the shimmer almost looks rainbow in the bottle. And I just thought this looked super cute on my, you know, little shorty nails that I've been rocking lately. So I love this brand polish but I hate saying it because it's like I'm like oh yeah I got this polish the other day and they're like yeah okay what's the brand and I'm like no 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 the brand is polish like it's just a little bit confusing for me and the title the name of the polish good for you it's from a Olivia Rodrigo song which I really like uh she's only released one album right I've only listened to one album it's fun it's like really short so if you like fun, like music that maybe will take you back to high school and all that angst, definitely recommend that. On January 7th, I was like, let's get another really pretty polish so that, you know, when, when no one asks me, I can be like, look at my nails and also my ring. So I pulled out Mooncat's Pandemonium, which this polish was gifted to me so kindly by my friend Stacy Quality Nails over on Instagram. And she gave this to me because I was like, oh, I was like gonna make a moon cat order. And so I, I like to, if I'm gonna make like kind of like a spur of the moment order, I like to send the cart to some of my friends to be like, what do you guys think? 
um, because sometimes you just need somebody to like keep you in check. And she was like, well, take that one out of your cart because I have it and it doesn't look good on me. So you can just have it and see if you like it. And it was funny because <laughs> I sent her a picture of me wearing it. And then I told her what it was and she was like, rude. It doesn't look like that on me. And I was like, mm, yeah, I know it looks so cute on me. I just feel like this kind of orangey red though. Usually I don't think it would look good on me because I do have a lot of, I feel like I can even see it on camera. Like, look at all this pink. I feel like maybe it's not so bad right now, but I get like a lot of rosacea and like I can literally see on the viewfinder. I don't know if you guys can, but it's like this ring of just very white skin. And then it's just like rosacea. It's just like super red. And then my forehead's really pale again. It's just like a weird like strawberry stripe across my face. And when I was a kid, I was always very self-conscious about it because, not because I thought I looked bad from it, I'm just like, whatever, like now I don't have to wear blush, it's great. But if people thought that I was embarrassed, they'd be like, huh, she's embarrassed. Like they said something that like, to make fun of me, and they'd be like, she's embarrassed. I'm like, no, my face is just permanently pink. Okay, I can't help it. Anyways, like, so that's why I always feel like these types of colors don't always look good on me, like only certain reds do. And I feel like every skin tone has you know, certain tones in each color family that go really well or clash really hard. And for me, certain reds just clash really hard and give me like lobster hands. But this one I thought looked really pretty. It's like a, like I said, like an orangey red. And then it has this like pink to kind of yellowy orange shimmer running through it. And again, I just thought it looked really nice with the ring. I feel like red nails, even though for a long time I was very averse, I'm coming back around to them. Cause when I first got into polish, I loved red nails. Cause to me, it's a classic. Um, and then I made a mess with them all the time. And now I'm like coming back around. I really like them again. And so this is just a really cute, fun red. On January 10th, I was like, oh man, <laughs> I should probably wear a topper because I said I was gonna wear some toppers. And so I pulled out one that was newer to my collection. This one is Hollow Tacos Disco Dust Taco. I originally wasn't gonna buy anything from this collection. And then my friend Pi, Lacquer Diary 3.14 over on Instagram, she posted a reel of her swatching this. And I was like, I, I immediately messaged her. And I was like, dang it, Pi, you made me want that. She, her swatch videos are so good. So if you're not following her on Instagram, you should be because she gets collections from a lot of really good brands and her content looks so nice. It's very professional. But yeah, so I was like, I kind of want to wear this since I got it in and I was like, I might as well wear this since it's the first topper on my mind. And so I was like, let me just layer it over black and why not just go double for the brand and wear it over a Hollow Tacos one coat black. So the picture you're seeing is one coat. I think it's only one coat of this over one coat of Hollow Tacos one coat black. I know some people say one coat black is not one coat. Not in my experience. Like for me, one coat black is one of the few polishes that I do actually wear on one coat. I'm not a big one coater person. Even if it is a one coater, I'm gonna wear it in two because I just, even if it's opaque, I feel like I don't get the coverage that I need, like the thickness of the polish, you know what I mean? But with one coat black plus whatever topper I'm layering over it, it's perfect. So I've never had an issue with it. Actually, this bottle is probably on its way out and I will repurchase this. This is one that I will buy another bottle of just because I have had such a good experience with it. Um, I used to only buy ch cheap, crappy drugstore black polishes. And not only did they always like smell weird, <laughs> but they were thinner or like they didn't, I just dropped them both. Did you see me like panic catch them? <laughs> um, they were thinner, they were a little bit patchy, they weren't as dark as I wanted them to be, but this is everything I need, want, and a black. The other black that I do often use is Orly's Liquid. Oh my God, I dropped it again. Okay, we're gonna set these down while I talk because I, you can't see it because it's like down below the camera, but I'm like gesticulating all over the place. Um, I use Orly's liquid leather a lot as well. So I'm gonna probably use up the Hollow Taco One Coat Black, finish out the liquid leather, and then I will buy a new bottle of One Coat Black because I don't really need 
both at the same time. But yeah, I don't have the picture right in front of me, and so now I can't even remember, and it's like on the phone that I'm filming on, so I can't like pull it off and look, but I feel like I remember thinking that under flash it looked like licorice all sorts, so I'm trying to look at it against the, the ring light light, but it's not super sparkly that way. I have had like a back and forth relationship with um, reflectives, where initially I was like telling you guys, I feel like it's just a party trick. And then I was like, oh, I'm all for it. And now I feel like I'm somewhere in between. With reflectives, I do think that uh, un, like not under crazy flash, they do tend to be a little bit more sparkly than like a regular, re like regular glitter. I do think that the flash thing is a little bit of a party trick. It's fun to show people, but at the end of the day, like you're not walking around with a flashlight against your nails, you know, 100% of the time. If you are, more power to you, you're very dedicated. Uh, but I do think that they are a little bit more sparkly. I prefer the ones that are fun glitters over silver glitters just because I like fun colors more. But yeah, I found this one to be really nice. So if you, I don't know if it's still on the website, I don't know if it was limited edition, but I do really like this one. So it was a good addition to my collection because I don't have uh, any reflective toppers off the top of my head I can't think of that aren't just plain silver glitter. So that was a nice little addition and I enjoyed wearing it. The same day I was like, I need to change my toe polish because I'd had the same one on for like a majority of December and starting to chip because I tend to kick everything in my path while I walk. I'm just, I'm bad at walking. My dad is always like walk much because I'm always tripping on everything. I'm like, yeah, dad, I do it every day. But I was like, all right, all my toes are chipped. Half my toenails were chipped. And I was like, okay, I gotta fix that. And so I removed my polish and I just kind of was like, let me grab something random. Opened up a few drawers because I didn't really make a rack for January until like halfway through the month because I just kind of was grabbing whatever I wanted. And I opened up the drawer that has my loud lacquer in there. I was like, I've worn them in a while. And I grabbed Julia, which is a purple metallic, really just kind of a random grab. I liked it. It was very really pretty. And I actually only just changed it recently because again, like toenail polish just let, I don't think about it so much and it lasts forever. It's a little bit more royal purple, I would say, which isn't my favorite tone of purple, but because of that metallic-y kind of shimmer running through it, it did give it, it brightened it up a little bit. So I did end up liking it and even Rob commented on it, which it's, he's rarely like, oh, your toes, <laughs> which is weird, right? Like, I don't think I want somebody doing that. But this time he was like, oh, I lick your toes. And I was like, thanks, I grew myself. And um, yeah, so if, if Rob notices, then you know it's, it's probably like noticeable because I gotta tell you, I, at his request, I left the Christmas decor up until the beginning of February because he wanted it up a little bit longer. And then first thing I did February 1st was take it all down, pack it away and put it where it belongs in the closet. And he still hasn't noticed. He still hasn't noticed it's gone. That's how unobservant he is. So when he notices something like this, then you know, like it's good. Okay, so January 14th, I put on Monarch Lacquer's Snowball Frenzy, which this was the other one I got from Polish Pickup in December. So like I wore two of my December Polish Pickup polishes like shortly after I got them, which very uncommon for me. I like to hoard them away and wear them, you know, nine months later. Um, so this is the one that I was like, it could be a topper or maybe it's not. I didn't wear it over the top of anything other than just a regular old base coat. It is, I don't know if it's a clear base or lightly tinted. I think it's a clearish base that is loaded with blue shimmer, like very, very nice shimmer. And then we have all these tiny and like super tiny, a couple different sizes here of matte white glitters. And it literally looks like snowfall. And I picked this cause I was like, let me get something kind of ethereal. I've been in a very ethereal toned mood. I've been just like into the kind of like a little bit sheer, a little bit glowy type stuff. And we had had like a blizzard. And I was like, all right, let's reflect, like, let's reflect on the blizzard here. 
and do my nails the exact same way. Ignore my cuticles in this photo because I know they're dry. I know they're dry. I didn't notice until after I took the picture. Next time I want to try wearing this over black because I feel like as fun as like the ethereal kind of nature of it is, I feel like black would really make the shimmer pop like super hard and those white uh, circle glitters or are they mini hex glitters? I can't tell. And it's like, now it's too close to my eyes and it's giving me a headache. Um, I feel like it would make them really stand out. So it's cute though. I really like Monarch. They're, they're doing a good job. Okay, then on January 21st, I apparently was like, let me wear another one that I got from the December polish pickup. And I grabbed Lumen's Glass Jellyfish. I just, in the bottle, stunning. So what you're seeing on my nails, full disclosure, is... A blurring base. I use the lacquer 22 blurring base and then I use three coats of the glass jellyfish. These are very very sheer and so I just figured three coats of our blurring base probably will still have some visibility through it. However, it'll look, you know, it'll it'll punch it up enough that it's ignorable. And I I feel like what was there? It was Glass Frog as well. I think they have a few others in like the Glass Animals series. And they're all very sheer, but it's not like information they were hiding from you. Like, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is like this type of polish is not for everyone. I know some people are very anti three coats of polish. I feel like three for me is kind of my cap. Anything beyond that, I'm kind of like, seriously, because it just gets kind of gummy on the nail and takes a long time to dry. But I felt like three coats plus that blurring base made it look really nice and I just really like to look at this in the bottle it's just one of those that it's just like it's just fun to look at this is my first lumen polish I have seen them quite a bit on polish pickup and I've been meaning to pick them up and pick them up and buy one and buy one here and there and I just never did and finally I bit the bullet got this one and I wore it right away and I loved it after that I was like I kind of want to make a nail polish rack uh but it's January 21st and January's almost over. So I was like, let me just kind of go right into February. And I'm just really feeling Valentine's Day right now. Like I just really want all the pinks and the reds and the cute little fluffy kind of lovey-dovey type stuff. And so I made a rack and it's, it's like half pink and red. And then it's got some purple because I love purple. Then I put a few gross polishes on there and then some like spring ear polishes. But on January 28th, I just was like, let me grab for something very Valentine's Day because we're kind of going to be in February soon, which now I'm filming this in February. So first of all, on my toes, I took Moxie Nail Varnish's Icon, which definitely she is. And it's just the very fun, it's got like a very, very light shimmer running through it. It's quite hard to see, but the color of this is my kind of pink. I really like a, a neon-y or bubblegummy type pink. I feel like this is kind of like in the middle of those two. And I was going to do pink on my toes and my nails, but then I was like, let me kind of change it. Um, it still kind of ended up being pink on my nails, but this is really fun. I love the Moxie bottles because I love a square bottle. I tell you guys this every time I hold up a square bottle. I love a square bottle and here's why. They fit so nicely together in the Helmer. They just like leave no gaps and it just makes me feel at peace. <laughs> so I really like, for organization's sake, I like the square bottles. These are the type that have like the cap. And then I always forget this until I use a Moxie, but they always have like a, a little sticker on the top. It says, make life fun. So I thought that was cute. Really like this color. Again, it's called Icon. Then on my nails, I was like, let me get another topper in before the end of the month. And I'm still wearing this now. And I am realizing I've only worn this for five days and the tip wear is abysmal. Like it's, it's chipping off. I feel like I haven't even done anything too crazy. Actually, let me see if I can show you on this hand. Do you guys see that? Like it's just, it almost like shrank back from the tips and then it started chipping and um it just looks bad <laughs> at first it was kind of cute i guess i put on juleps what is this tiffany it is a jelly i just i was like i need to start using up some of my mini so i need to pop that drawer open a little more often um it's fine i did two coats and i got pretty decent coverage with it julep 
doesn't make polish anymore as far as I'm aware. I think they barely make makeup anymore. Um, they have the weirdest little skinny bottles. And so I did two coats of that. And then I grabbed, this is Emily Damali's Isolate or Isolate. I'm not really sure. It, in the bottle, I mean, it looks like white, but it's it's a variety of white matte shreds. And as you can see, I feel like, I don't know if it's like the color combo because I think this topper's fun, but it almost looks like I just shredded a bunch of paper and stuck it onto my nails. And I thought like the pink and white might, it might look a little bit like lacy, or I guess it's like a pinky red or a reddy pink. I don't know. I don't know anything about color. And so nobody come for me about that one, unless you are the username Bird Loves Paint because she knows everything about color. So she can tell me anything she wants about color and I will listen to her and believe her 100%. But yeah, so these, I don't know. It just doesn't look, it wasn't how I imagined it in my head. Um, I went to lunch on this past Sunday with my parents to celebrate my mom's birthday. And my dad, you know, he always notices when I'm wearing like an unusual color or whatever. And he was just like, what's on your nails? And like, he thought that the, um, he thought that, like the topper was very interesting. And he's like, did you like, how did you put that on there? And I was like, it's just, it's just in the bottle. You just paint it on. And he's like, I can't even feel it on your nail. And that's the thing. I didn't wear any kind of like glitter topper with this one. You know, I love glitter grabber for like thicker glitters, but these lay really flat. I just put a regular top coat on there and you can't really feel any texture. So, and if you're into funky toppers, Emily Damali has a few that I have picked up and I really like them. It's just like, I think that the color combo that I did just wasn't a banger. So yeah, that's everything I wore in January. I have quite a handful of toppers on my rack for February. I tried to make sure to just put them on my rack so that I'm always thinking about them. But two that I definitely want to prioritize wearing, I have the NYX Polish by Moxie. This is B-Day Sprinkles. And actually, I'm feeling like maybe now looking at both these toppers, they're kind of similar. Um, they're both like, it's like a just glitter bomb. Like, look at that. Very fun, like glitter bar for sure. So I want to wear that one. And then I also have, this is Powered by Little Treats, and this is Girly Bits collab with Caitlin Swatches. And this is another like color bomb, but it's like a huge variety of shapes and like kind of like metallic and matte and just like very, very much my vibe. And I like the name. I also have like Valentine's Day appropriate toppers. This is Let's Go Girls from Orly. They sent me this last year. This was in like their Valentine's Day collection. So I have a lot of toppers ready to wear. I've got a variety of pinks and reds ready to go. So hopefully I can continue on strong with my topper journey. <laughs> I don't know why. Everything's a journey. Everything's a journey nowadays. And I think it's so funny. Um, but yeah, that is everything I wore. I need to decide because it is already February 2nd. I need to change this because this is unacceptable. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.